Alright, we'll, we'll go back into the phase on mountain thing later, but this has pointed me towards a chamber I couldn't reach before, and uh, that is what I'm going to go find today. So, oh, as for now, let's uh, put a mark here. Okay, there we go. So I think, I think there's also another suit you get um, that gives you immunity to phase on. I think that might be the the end game thing that you get, so you can actually go into the uh, the area sealed by the artifact, the uh, the crater with the the final boss in it. Okay, so we gotta go to. The Great Tree Hall. All right. Oh, interesting. My bomb capacity, my super bomb capacity is not as limited as I thought. I guess I can carry more than three, which is good. Okay, is that the door that I need? I guess that'll get me to where I'm trying to go, so, you know. I gotta say, it's a little egotistical to have a shape, a ship that looks like your head, but, uh, you know, do what you're gonna do. Oh, that's right, the Great Tree Hall was... Oh, we have to pass through the frigate. Wait. Could we, instead of passing through the frigate, go to Chozoma Ruin South? Let's see. So that's the overworld. Okay, we're just going to have to be straightforward about it and go through the frigate crash site and ostensibly the frigate. Now, there should be some things in there that I couldn't get to before. I, I want to say there were some of those Bendesium um, collapsed thingies that I couldn't blow up because I didn't have the power bombs yet. So, hopefully going back through the frigate at least, uh, exposes some new stuff to me. Buddy, if at first you don't succeed, don't try parachuting. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, so we have to go through that ice door. Hold on. There's another exit to this room? Yeah, it probably wants me to have a grapple beam here.
pretty cool, but I don't remember how to get back up there. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, that's where it came in. That's... I mean, ideally I would have the grapple beam for this, but that's just not in the cards right now. Wait, was there... Oh, that's right, there was a passage there. And that should put me on the shore with the... Yeah. Okay, I'm not completely losing my mind. I did that a long time ago. Okay, so we have to dis... Boy, this is a bit... Bit of a roundabout way to get to things, but don't really see another way to do it. I regret nothing. There we go. So, I used to say something else uh, when falling from a high height in a game until I realized it was kind of inappropriate. <laughs> so, I just, I, I now use the old standby from uh, Mr. Science Theater 3000. Whenever somebody felt was. Uh, falling down something. Mike or one of the bots, or Joel, depending on the era. <laughs> Shout out, I regret nothing! And for all intents and purposes, that works probably better than saying the name of a dead indigenous person. Oh, it'll just open now. Okay. I feel so <laughs> Here I am trying to repeat a uh, puzzle that was already solved. So, fun fact. Uh, the <clears throat> the doors and some of the hallways in this acted as loading screens in the original game. Okay, am I going down or up? I am going down. Because the, uh, you know, the GameCube had to load stuff from a little disc. Um, that was sometimes a problem. So what they would do is they would delay the time it took a door to open so it had time to load, and the hallways you traverse, traverse down between certain areas effectively gave the game time to load. And what you wound up with a game that played... You played a game that mostly had... At least it felt like a solid, contiguous space with no loading, like uh, kind of like Dark Souls does now. And when I say now, I mean in 2012. <laughs> but... I always thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, it's also why they removed... Um, why time wasn't a factor in the ending that you got when you played this. Instead, they based it on item collection and scans. It's like, well, it'll probably be more sensible to have somebody 100% all that uh, than it will be to uh, expect somebody to... Oh, I'm going to take that save room rather than expect them to do it in a certain amount of time, because maybe the GameCube has trouble loading things in a prompt fashion. So, interesting bit of trivia that probably only I care about, but has that ever stopped me? Okay. Um, okay, yeah, that's the... Biohazard containment. 
So we're almost to the Great Tree Hall. Uh -huh. Open, please. Man. Okay. Yeah, so there was an E tank in here, and there was a door that I was able to blow apart with like a missile. And for some reason, I just walked right by it. Which is honestly a little silly on my part, but. Oh! God! Tentacle monsters! Is it actually... Eh. Okay, I thought that's where I came in. It is. So... Oh, I'm actually trying to go down. Well... So that, there it is. That's what I'm trying to get to. And there's a collapse ramp that'll let me do it. Oh, hi. Hello, horrible monster. Can I change my FOV? I guess, I guess that's something I should have investigated a while ago. Um... Interesting. Huh. Oh, that's, that's good that you can turn the, uh, the hint system off if you don't feel you need it. That said, it will be remaining on, you know. I don't want people to deal with me wandering around cluelessly for too long. I am making some attempt at being entertaining, after all. Okay, so we have to go down, and there should be a door right there. This is something I really wish that uh, the original Quake had. It's a decent map. Yep, I remember this part. So yeah, this is where I learned a little bit about bomb jumping. In that, you generally need to do it on the way up, rather than at the apex of your, of your jump.
Oh, can I not do that because I did it already? Is that... Yeah, okay. So, uh, off-screen, I... Uh, or off-stream, I did come by and handle that. And I still need to get a bit higher before we get to the door that I couldn't access. Like, I can totally understand the, the presence of an item like this here, since, you know, there's supposed to be a bunch of Chozo ruins here, so that kind of makes sense. It's just when you see this as something that the pirates have, even when it says textually that, yeah, they, they actually can't uh, use the morph ball, it turns them into a twisted mass of flesh. Yep, Bendesium. So, we just clean a bomb there. Oh, it's a thing. Yes. Okay. So this baby. Let's us see stuff like uh, Chozo ghosts and invisible platforms. So that's going to be very helpful. has the added benefit of looking kind of nifty. Yeah, so these are not typically visible. Er, boy, I'm having a hard time making out what's what here. Ooh, big bada boom. Please, give me back power bombs. I don't have many. Well, I guess this means I have to go back into the mines, since uh, that's the next place the game was pointing me towards. Which means it's time to do a bunch of backtracking. <laughs> Like, I can totally see why the amount of backtracking in this game would turn somebody off, but I'm like, that's just... that's just Metroid, man. Ah, and we fall short. I bet... I bet if I turn on my X-ray specs, we're going to see a platform there that we can't normally see. So let's all the way up here. Maybe not. Oh, what? What? Oh, Chozo Ghosts. Here to be a bunch of dicks. Are those Space Pirate Ghosts? Oh, I'm using the wrong weapon.
No! Oh, I fell. Okay, well, at least they're done. And there's a thing there. Okay. I guess I need to see if I can find my way back up. It looks like I'll... I can't tell you how much I want the, uh, the From Software team to do a Metroid game. I think that would be fucking amazing. Because, uh, they know how to make interesting bosses. They are certainly good at world design. Definitely a thing I'd like to see them do. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> it'll probably never happen. I mean, we're still waiting on Metroid Prime 4 after numerous delays and apparently a complete um, project restart. But, you know, it happens. I, I don't really fault anyone for doing that. It is kind of a bummer, though. I just hope it comes out on the Switch as opposed to, you know, a new system that I don't have. Wait a minute. This is where it came in. Oh, and I got the thing I needed, so I guess that's fine. Um, and that'll take us to the ruins. And that'll go down to the phase on mines. And if I remember correctly, the the mining equipment I'm trying to reach, or whatever, is supposed to be down there, so... At least going down is going to be fairly direct. There's a thingy over here. Yep. Did I go too far? I did. Guess we're going back to mines. Down we go. Oh, and we're coming up on a couple hours here, so once I once I hit the save room, I'm going to, I'm going to take a short intermission. And I need to see if I remember where that mining equipment is. I think it put a marker on the map. So at least I got that going for me. Yeah, left. And... Oh, it's up a bit, isn't it? Hey, look at that. A little bit of pew pew. And, oh, is that? No, it's just some ruins. Okay, so with that, I'm going to take a short break. <laughs>